Good morning, everybody. Let's see here. There we are. Ah, crap, I still have some stuff I gotta configure, which I didn't beforehand. There we go. That's a little... So, hey, how's it going? Doing a little different... Something a little different this morning. Uh, starting my day off the right way with some dungeon crawling madness. Wanted to take a little break and actually play something. Give my brain a little bit of a palate cleanser. Um, and I've been wanting to, to stream a lot of these early FromSoft games. From software, and uh, if my information is correct, this is their first ever video game, and the first, uh, I think the first RPG for the Japanese PlayStation, but yeah, this is the, uh, the Japanese Kingsfield, the first entry in the series. Not to be confused with the one we got in the States. There's the those super awesome uh, early, very thick, very sturdy Japanese uh, PlayStation cases. Um, but what's interesting about this game is you can see the, the DNA for things like Demon Souls and Dark Souls. And all their, you know, later, more celebrated dark fantasy games. Especially as far as, like, uh, mood and atmosphere. Uh, even even mechanically, too, you got your, like, stamina management and stuff in this. You know, the very first ever video game, which is kind of fascinating. To see this sort of development philosophy evolve. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I have a an English translation of the manual up uh, on my other monitor here. Which uh, has some backstory, so let's jump right into it. Once there was a small country named Verdite, or Verdite, I guess. We'll call it Verdite which was surrounded on all sides by a deep forest. In ancient days, there was a great war here. Many people died, and there was great destruction, but finally a hero arose who saved Verdite. Whether this savior was a person, a fairy, or a monster, it quickly disappeared into the fog, which drifts through the forest. This being came to be known as the Dragon of the Forest. So he was a dragon then, or they were a dragon. Uh, and a sanctuary was built to honor it, and the builders passed on the story. Eventually, only the legend remained, and the sanctuary was turned into the royal family's graveyard, and all was quiet. The legend says, one day, the dragon of the forest will return, bringing magical artifacts, although for now, the sanctuary remains silent. Sorry, the manual's a little difficult to read. It's got a really weird background uh, that the text is printed on. Once a certain clan and its leader visited the sanctuary and used magic power to take rule over the country, making their leader king, it was they who started to build the royal cemetery in the sanctuary. As the graveyard became bigger and bigger, it seemed that the king might be searching for the magical artifacts of legend. In fact, that may be why he and his people came in the first place. John Alfred Forrester, once born the eldest son of Hauser, commander of the royal guard, he became interested in the art of sword fighting and started training. It seemed he might have a skill that could even surpass his father's. Hoping to exceed his father, John set out, on, set out for a neighboring country to study under his father's friend. And so one day, while working on his technique, John heard a rumor about his home. The king often sent soldiers to search for the magic artifacts, but no matter how hard they searched, they never found them. Finally, the soldiers didn't come back at all, so another force was sent to investigate it. To investigate. It turned out that monsters had appeared 
in the graveyard and were attacking the soldiers. The king ordered Commander Hauser to lead a large force and remain and regain control. But they were massacred and almost completely destroyed, so the king spread word across his kingdom and neighboring countries offering a bounty for exterminating the monsters and trying to recruit mercenaries. Concerned for his father's safety, John returned home to find that Commander Forrester had returned after leading the attack, but then went back to the graveyard to rescue his men. John decided to enlist as a mercenary and go to the graveyard to search for his father. So we're rescuing our father from, from the darkness and the unknown. Uh, which is a powerful archetype. But, uh, so yeah, that's kind of interesting that you play as a, uh, as an actual named uh, protagonist in this. You don't ever speak. You don't ever have any lines of dialogue or anything, but you do have a sort of character-based uh, motivation. Oops, here, let me just restart that. So we get the full picture here. <clears throat> One thing I really like about the Kingsfield series is the the mood and atmosphere. Now this the way this plays is very slow, especially by modern standards. So it's probably not uh, going to be for everybody. It hasn't aged very well, but I still find a lot of enjoyment out of it. Mostly because I'm very big on mood and atmosphere. Now, I'm playing this on a modded uh, PlayStation that I picked up from eBay so that I could attempt to patch the game. Because there's a really good uh, fan patch and translation of the game that plays wonderfully, and it, it looks like it's a localized release, but... Um, burn discs don't play well in this machine. I've gotten it to work, but like when you, it runs into problems. Like when you try to save the game, it'll usually freeze and then it won't work anymore. <laughs> so this is us stepping into the uh, the portal that leads to the, the Royal Graveyard, which is a, a massive series of tunnels and caves and uh, multi-leveled dungeons. But the way the, especially the story and, and sort of lore of the the game and the world, the way it's all presented is very Dark Souls. And this game does a few interesting things with that that I really appreciate also that we'll run into eventually. Okay, so just let me familiarize myself with the controls again. I don't remember what that says. <laughs> I can't read or speak Japanese. I have played through this game once in its entirety with that uh, fan patch on, on mo the modded PlayStation, was, which was a huge pain in the ass because of all the, the frequent crashing and everything. But you can certainly still get through it without uh, really having to, needing to, to know Japanese or being able to read it. As you can see, it's, it's takes quite a while for, for, uh, John Forrester to turn around. If that's the guy's name we're playing, I probably forget already, but. Nothing, nothing. Nope. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Now, um, 
here's a uh, another link to its uh, descendants. There are <laughs> there are a ton of secret doors in this game. Okay, that's locked. I think is what that says. Maybe a lot of these doors too. You're not going to be able to open until later. Until you find specific keys. The same goes for some of these treasure chests also. Mata does, yeah, this is an American or North American uh, PlayStation, Johnny. And it's modded so that it can play uh, imports. Dead is what I think that says. Grave. Grave. Grave, 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 grave. Guy's dead. He's dead, Jim. Some of the... Uh, Monster placement, I think, is a little randomized, too. Anytime you reload a, an area, there's a chance for a different spawn layout, I've noticed. And I think uh, that says something about the groundkeeper's quarters in a church. Now this guy, he's going on about something about somebody stealing his favorite uh, golden cross. So a lot like like Dark Souls and things like that, you don't you don't have quests per se, but uh, NPCs will you know share with you their these little tasks that you can complete for them there's nothing in the game that keeps track of them like a like a journal or anything but okay here we go let's save there saving probably that's what that says <clears throat> And then there's foiled by Shin High uh, Bench. And then this guy says so something about wanting to help, but he sold his map to a conspicuous uh, guy and his son. So he would have a map to give to us, but but he sold it to some weirdos. You have a PAL PlayStation. Hated the fact that if there was a European exclusive, you sound like you couldn't play it. A lot more Japan games. Yeah, like uh, also Japanese PlayStations aren't that expensive, from from what I've seen on eBay. Dark as fuck, is it? Yeah, I guess it's a little darker than than on my actual TV. Maybe I should uh, turn the brightness down on my on my television. I don't remember what that says, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, that's locked. Oh, probably, yeah. I, I darkened up the the stream background image a lot. Here 
Here we go. Here's something. Fuck you. So that, uh, you see that power meter up in the HUD? If you swing or cast a spell, it goes down. And you have to wait for it to go all the way back up to do full damage. You can keep swinging away, but you're going to do real crap damage. So there's your, there's your prototype uh, Demon Souls stamina management. I could totally read Japanese. No, I, I, uh, I played uh, a fan patch, fan translation, so I kind of know what I'm doing. One gold, or whatever it is they're calling it in this game. Four gold. And I mean, in the fan translation, I think they called it gold, but. It seems like it takes them a really, really long time to, <laughs> to write out gold. He's dead. Okay, these fuckers. But yeah, a lot, a lot of this is. Uh, Figuring out when it's safe to attack and at what distance. It might seem clunky, but once you start to get it down, it's pretty satisfying, actually. So like I'll like I'll start my swing in the middle of his uh, attack animation and then start walking forward. <laughs> Just gonna sit there, huh? It's fine. I leveled up. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. God damn. My uh, my hit points are almost out. Go ahead and use one of those. Jesus. I need more upgrades. Yeah. There's a lot of sh oh shit yeah forty forty seven gold those those tree things. Uh, we usually drop like a weapon and also a ton of gold. Yeah, see, here's one of the. Oh, f <laughs> fuck! I just backed up into a pit of spikes. Or a pit of fucking dangerous looking uh, polyhedrons. Uh, um, but the lore behind those tree things are actually pretty cool. Like, they're not actually like animated trees, they're weird fleshy monsters that are disguise themselves as trees to lure idiotic adventurers uh, close to them <laughs> and then they'll kill them and eat them and that's why they're they're loaded full of uh like gold and weapons and stuff god i already used two of these things but here's here's one of these uh, illusory walls Just like Dark Souls. Uh, those are blood rubies. This is ant an antidote. So you can get poisoned in this, which sucks. Um, and those blood rubies are... Ah, fuck. Um, they don't do anything. You just sell them off for cash. Cold hot cash. Those are just bones. What's in here? That's locked. Is 
So yeah, your, your hitbox is kind of suspect <laughs> when walking around or near traps. Again, just like Dark Souls. Nope. Okay, now this area, um, you know, I'm going to do the hug the left wall thing. That's what I'll do. Because I, I don't really remember where everything is. So this is, at least in the beginning here, this might as well be a blind playthrough. Because I forget a lot of stuff. But yeah, as far as I can tell. Oh, cool. Yeah, some of these some of these grave sites will have some treasure laying around. Uh, but as far as I can tell, this is one of the first, if not the first, dungeon crawler rendered in like actual full 3D, like using uh, polygons and, and models for everything in real time. Now, I'm probably incorrect about that, but if it wasn't the first, it's it's one of, from what I could find. Level up! What level am I now? Level three. Okay. And... Either the top or the bottom value is the gold or experience points. You have a rank, too, uh, or a class, I guess. You can never choose, like, how your class develops, but um, as you level up, uh, your title will change. Which is kind of funny that it's in English. Not uncommon with Japanese games, though. God damn. Fuck you, snake. He was a cheapskate. Okay. I'm gonna hug the right wall here and see where that gets me. These guys are like in, in all of the Kingsfield games, uh, one through four from what I've seen. This is the only one that I've played all the way through. Um, I remember renting the first and second Kingsfield back when they were <laughs> relevant uh, from Blockbuster Video. Let's go this way. Wait a minute, isn't there a... Pause! <laughs> okay, that's items. What is this? That is magic, I think. Oh, God. This is equipment. Okay, that's spells. That's... Equip your spells, and I have a... I think that's a, either a short sword or a dagger. I haven't picked up anything else. Um, okay, this is your your like damage and your resistances and stuff. Your items. I think that might be save information. Okay, options. All right. Return. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Oh, you bastard. All 
right. These guys are look scarier than they actually are. They're not too terribly difficult. As long as you ooh, don't get caught against the wall. Yeah, look at look at that poison taken down. It's not good. Use one of those. The nice thing about using uh, the antidote herb in this game is that it actually heals you a little bit too. So it's, you don't have to scarf down an antidote herb and then immediately take a healing item. Oh my god, what's behind me? You motherfucker. Oh, okay. I, I picked up some more of those, I guess. Just going to say, am I gonna about to use my last herb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I find the Kingsfield games like weirdly relaxing. Their speed and their atmosphere and their music and the whole presentation feels like a weird uh, fever dream. Or like you took too much NyQuil or something. Now those will poison you. Those garbage holes, whatever they are, acid pools. And yeah, just check in for searching for secret doors. Yeah, there's a there's a healing thing. What I was uh, trying to do was see if there was a map, but um, you do find them later, but I couldn't remember if there was like a, like a fog of war type map or something before you actually got a, um, an inventory map. But I guess not. As far as I can tell. It might be in the, the later Kingsfield games, you might have something like that. I can't remember. Those jerks will poison you also, but I think the scorpions have a higher chance of poisoning you. They're not too difficult to beat once you get the timing down on them. You just gotta be careful not to be an idiot like I just was. are kind of obnoxious. Especially because they, they usually attack quicker than you can move. 
Oh, that was very close. Shit. Oh my god. Yeah, give me one of those. Eat my vegetables. Like a good RPG protagonist. Dead, dead. De or did. Okay, I'm gonna keep hugging the right wall here. Stick to my, uh, wait, what's that? <laughs> Never mind. Ah, uh, that's nothing. It's broken. It's a broken sword, is what that is. Oh, fuck. Now, you do have magic. Which I'm. These guys can one shot you this early, I think. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, I'm, I was hoping that I could figure out which was my gold and which was my experience points. Here we go, here's something. I think this is a, a shopkeep or something. Yeah, this is a, this guy's interesting. Buy my stuff. <laughs> okay, he's got yeah, he's got some stuff. Okay, I have three hundred gold. And uh, ha. Well, the uh, priest that we met earlier said that somebody stole his cross, so. I don't have the cash to get it yet, though. I would like some more of this, though. Okay, how much is... Uh, no, don't have enough for that. 700. I could have almost afforded to... No, I don't have enough for anything. That would make me <laughs> more effective in combat. Okay, let's just go ahead and snack on one of those. I can't remember what uh, refills your magic. All right, let's <laughs> mimic. Ah, uh, I I think that's locked. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I am not stepping <laughs> over there to check for secret walls. Not gonna do it. That is kind of a neat thing that you can exploit, is when you deal damage to an enemy, you stun them and interrupt whatever they were doing. What was that? Did I, did I level up or what? I think I did. And he dropped a battle axe, so yes please. Here, let, uh, let's look at our stats first. I think that 25 might be our attack power. I can't remember. And below that is defense. And then below that might be magic something. Something to do with magic. So let's remember 25 and 22. 
25 and 22. Equip. Yes. Give it to me. Oh, okay. Where that 7 was, I guess we are now at 12. I don't know what that other shit is, then. <laughs> yeah. Come here. I want to ask you a question. <laughs> nope, can't one-shot him yet. <laughs> ah, fuck. I feel like with the, uh... Did we just level up again? We did. Oh, you know what that, that first indicator was when I killed that tree? Um, I believe your your stats will naturally grow also the more you use certain things. Like, the more you attack, your strength has a chance to go up gradually, and your uh, um, magic, I think. So there's a, a little bit of... Uh, Dungeon crawler simulation -y RPG crap in there, too. Okay, this is the guy again. Don't need to talk to him again. What I want to do is get back to... Uh, oh, those uh, blue-looking caves. I think I might have worse reach with the axe, though. That's okay. That's okay. Um, 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 um. Item. <laughs> Use. Yeah. Now I'm all better. Now I am 100%. Okay. Making much quicker work of these spiders now. Which is pretty nice. Nice. Two shot into scorpions. Okie dokie. There's nothing going on here. I'm going to be anal and <laughs> pound on all these doors until something happens. Okay, nothing. That's fine. Wait. I came in this way, I think. And then there's nothing. Great. All right. Well, uh, hug the right wall, I guess. Snake. Kill this guy. There we go. This this is what I'm looking for. All right. I came in that way. This is uh I think he's a grave robber. And he talks about not knowing where his son is. And, uh... 
That dude with the broom from earlier, he sold that guy and his son a map. And we want it. Yes, I want it. Give it to me. Ow. Dick. Hug the right wall. This looks promising. Okay, I guess this is where they hang out and sleep. Yes, whatever that is. I can't remember what that is. Um, I think in the fan translation, that was a recovery medicine. So maybe it refills hit points and magic points? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, look at all those. I hit the mother load of uh, roughage. Ah, there's there's little uh, <laughs> this this is a, a little bit more of the uh, proto souls stuff. There are these little messages uh, hidden, written on walls and things throughout the dungeons. And they warn of things, too, some of them. Like, you know, like, beware monster and stuff like that. It's kind of neat. Speaking of which, there's another one right there. Though I can't remember what they say, unfortunately. What I need is, like, freaking a... Uh, an app for my glasses or something that just like translates <laughs> whatever it is I'm looking at. My phone has something like that. Like I can, uh, uh, I loaded Google translate on it and you can actually like use the camera and point it at, uh, things like Japanese text and it will attempt to translate it in real time. Tim. Hey man. Taking a break with uh, some crusty old video games. Come on, you bastard. No! <laughs> Poisoned! Uh, okay, let's eat our vegetables. That's better. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's, yep, we're, all right. It's not working, gonna use a different strategy. Gonna back away, okay. Just you and me, buddy. Fuck you. Ah, level up. Yeah, level six. <laughs> pretty, yeah, pretty, I was gonna say, pretty sure I know what that noise means by now. Yeah, dude, let's go grab some coffee. What time is it? Oh, shit, yeah. When, whenever you're ready, man. Five thirty now. So, uh, all the, uh, like Starbucks will be open in half an hour. Die. So so far so good. One of the one of the problems I was having uh, that I wanted to see if I could uh, fix or at least make it past was uh, my CRT uh, TV that I have the PlayStation hooked up to was not. Oh, sick. <laughs> okay, I think maybe axes do crushing damage, which is why it took out that skeleton no problem. But uh, my TV was screwing up. And I know it's not the PlayStation because I have another one that's unmodded. And uh, both of them 
and using different methods of uh, connecting the thing to the TV produced uh, similar results. Like the TV would spaz out and not show a complete picture. Like it looked like I was trying to I would play a VHS or something that was all messed up. But it's doing okay now. Sounds good, man. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> the uh, the damage that guy did anyway. Finally, a chest that is not locked. Okay, I wonder... 12 is our damage output, I guess. Maybe the 29 and 24 is like strength and, and magic power or something. Uh, but 12 is damage output. So what happens when... I equip the knight sword. Eleven. <laughs> okay. Now the sword might be faster and have better reach. But uh, I think I prefer the axe. To be perfectly honest. So yeah, guys, um, I'd like to, uh, I was thinking of, uh, playing through these, like starting with Kingsfield and, uh, you know, going through some of the other early From Software titles, attempting to do it maybe once a week or something. So now that I know that the PlayStation doesn't seem to be having trouble displaying on the TV, and I'm getting distracted because <laughs> I want to keep like, um, you know, let's see, yeah, let's kill this guy with the sword and see what happens. See how well it does. All right, it's about the same as the axe. And it, it feels like it has some, oh yeah, that has much better reach, which actually, maybe I've changed my mind about axe versus sword here. <gasps> Mummy. What are you doing, dude? I think he's stuck. <laughs> Which is, I mean, I'll take it. That's fine with me. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, take a break. Close the stream here. Go beat my buddy Tim for coffee. Uh... But thanks, everybody, for stopping by and hanging out. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you all next time I do this. Have a good one.